Hey, Billy back here. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. If you have not watched WWE Super Showdown and plan on doing so, please stop this video now. However, if you would like to hear my review of WWE Super Showdown, you may continue the video. I always like to warn people. This show was amazing. I have not been entertained by a WWE show like this since WrestleMania 33, so last year's WrestleMania. Crowd was on fire for this one. Ten matches. Some solid, some better than others, but every match was good in its own way. Um, to kick off the show, by the way, it was at 4 a.m. U.S. time, and I did watch it live, Central Time, so I did watch it live. The New Day members, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, with Big E at ringside, defeated the bar. This was a good way to open the show. The fans were into the New Day chance. Uh, Sorrow and Sheamus got some chance to back and forth match for a bit. But the bar never really got fully into it. But it was a good match for a kickoff. New Day wins, retaining the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Um, these two cannot have a bad match together. But I will say I do believe it's time for another team to challenge New Day. I'm hoping Sanity eventually gets that run. Maybe he'll off to WrestleMania. But I think Sanity deserves a uh, title shot. Maybe even a win. Um, the next match was Charlotte. Challenging Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Women's Champion. This was a good match. Uh, this was back and forth for a while. It looked like Charlotte had a chance, but then Becky got herself disqualified by hitting her with the belt. So Charlotte wins the match by disqualification, but she does not take the title. A very good match. I like this Be this I don't care attitude from Becky Lynch. I really think it's good. It suits her. I prefer her as the baby face, but she's still getting cheered more than Charlotte. And I think it's because she hadn't had the title for a while. So it's kind of refreshing to see her win. But yeah, Charlotte won this match by DQ, but Becky keeps the title. Probably going to be seeing a rematch at Evolution. Next was Bobby Lashley against John and John Cena against Elias and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens and Elias came out and got the crowd going. Lashley came out and Cena. Cena's got the Mark Wahlberg haircut look. He guess he's been training with Jackie Chan. Um, Lashley got beat up on for a while. The hot tag was made to Cena after that. The match was pretty much over. Cena hinted at retirement. You know, the guy's been the top guy for so long that he's earned this part-time status. And you know what? If he decides to go to Hollywood, good. I kind of hope he stays a 16 title reigns because then it would say that Flair and Cena are equal, which I think is fair for them. But, um... Good match. Cena didn't wrestle long, but I think he's transitioning to Hollywood, so um, might not see him for a while. It was a good match, though. So Lashley and Cena won that one. Next, you have the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce against Asuka and Naomi. Now, good and bad. Bad part was Asuka has been on a downward spiral since losing to Charlotte Flair. She did not win the Women's Champion, which she deserves a title run on the main roster. I liked her and Naomi as a team. It's fun, energetic, it's different. The two actually work well together. That was the part I didn't like. Let me tell you the part that I liked. The Iconics, Billy Kane, Peyton Royce. Since coming to the main roster, I haven't been allowed to shine. They're very talented. Actually, all four women in the match were talented, but... Billy Kane, Peyton Royce pull out the win. It was awesome to see them win in their hometown. The crowd was into the match. They were very excited that Billy Kane, Peyton Royce won. They even took kind of a face roll with Billy Kane, Peyton Royce, which I would like to see them. They're good as heels, but I think they could potentially be good guys. Good match. Solid performance from both teams, but I am happy the Iconics won. Next, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe. Very personal match for the WWE Championship. Joe had even went so far as going to AJ Styles' house. Um, back and forth, kick out after kick out, near fall after near fall, and finally AJ gets the win with the um, submission, making Joe tap, ending this rivalry more than likely. It was good, though. And AJ is a hell of a performer, but I gotta give credit to Samoa Joe. He continues to show how good he is, and he does deserve a title reign before his time in WWE is over. I think he'll retire with WWE, but I think he deserves a final title, well, a title run eventually. But it was a good match. I really enjoy watching these two against each other. Um, they don't have a bad match together. I really think that they know each other so well that they know how to play on the crowd, and they know what they're going to do, and it really was just fun match. Next up, we had Nikki and Brie Bella teaming with Ronda Rousey against the Riot Squad. 
Bella Twins, um, got to see some action. I like them, but I feel like they're just back and like, yeah, they're good. Don't get me wrong, talent wise, but I think it's time for them to step aside or, you know, take lesser role. Ronda Rousey is on fire as women's champion. She's doing these flips, the, all this crazy stuff. She's a very talented athlete and doing good with wrestling. The Riot Squad continue to impress. I think they're underrated. Ruby is amazing as a performer. And um, Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan. I'll be honest, I was a little bit down. I wasn't the biggest fan of Liv Morgan, but she's kind of won me over. She took that concussion pretty well. And she actually has more talent um, than I originally gave her credit for. So I do apologize for maybe not believing in her talent as much. She's getting better in the ring. But um, a very good match. Ronda Rousey does a double arm bar for the double tap out for the win. It was a good match. The Bella Twins didn't tag her for a while. They were tagging each other only. And finally they tagged her in because she was the only option. So there could be a potential story out of that. But that was a good match. Next up, hometown kid, Buddy Murphy, challenged Cedric Alexander for the Cruiserweight title. And oh my god, I'm giving this for wrestling, this is match of the night. reason I say that is because there's a story match of this match of the night. I'll get to that later. But this was match of the night as far as wrestling goes. That Spanish fly move is wicked. And Buddy Murphy kicked out and kicked out of the lumbar check. But what a match. Both of these men, I can't praise them more Cedric Alexander and Buddy Murphy are two great athletes and Buddy Murphy sold getting hit hard and Cedric Alexander sold the um the shock of the kickouts by Murphy but the crowd was into it this match was good it was back it was a fast-paced match move after move they just continued to impress me Buddy Murphy did get the win and won the cruiserweight title the only title change here but it was a good match Match of the night, in my opinion. Next up was the Shield against Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre. This one was back and forth. Um, at one point, a bump was taken. Dean was hit, and it looked at by Roman on accident. It looked as if Dean was going to turn. He did not. Dean gets the pin himself. The Shield win. There's still potential for Dean to go off by himself later, but good match. I like that they teased a little bit, but didn't have the payoff on that, which was good because... I feel like the Shield is just starting to get its groove again, and I think that uh, those three men are great. No, we can't take away from Braun, Dolph, and Drew. I still think Braun deserves a title run eventually. Drew McIntyre will get there, and Dolph... Uh, excuse me. ...is underrated for how good he is and all the years he's put in. He's awesome, but um, this was a good match, a good, solid match. The crowd... Got into it, especially, I didn't think the Shield were ever going to get to the ring going through the crowd because the fans were grabbing them, and I thought they were never going to get through, but they finally did, and um, their their interest is very cool because they do come through the crowd. But it was a fun match, and it told a good story. That's why I like this event so much. I'll talk about it at the end. Daniel Bryan and The Miz, number one contender match for the WWE Championship. So, Miz cheated the last time to beat Daniel, and everything, and this time Daniel won with the small package really quick, and the joke came back, Mr. Small Package. <laughs> it's pretty funny, and it's clever way of being funny. But um, Daniel Bryan wins with the roll with the small package there, and Daniel and AJ are gonna have a match, which should be a should burn the house down. Um, Daniel Bryan and AJ are both very talented. It's time to see the top two guys on SmackDown go at it. Although, I think number three behind them is Andrade C. and Almas. He is amazing. Um, and they didn't have all the big stars in this card, but it was still amazing. Okay, main event. Triple H, Undertaker. Triple H had Shawn Michaels at his side. Undertaker had Kane. Match-wise, it wasn't the best when it comes to match. Taker did old schools. That was impressive. It, was a, it wasn't that it was a good wrestling match. It was a good story. Between the four legends, they were able to tell a good story. But this proves something. There are not characters in WWE like there used to be. Um, Triple H, Cerebral Assassin, great character. Shawn Michaels, the showstopper, great character. Undertaker, best character in WWE history. Kane, good character. So that's the problem is that you don't see the character building. And I think that's where WWE needs to work on that. This was back and forth. A lot of finishers traded, weapon shots, everything. Triple H made this no DQ. Um, Triple H does get the win, which... 
I kind of I predicted because he hadn't beat Taker in a while, and the moment with those four standing um, in the ring of mutual respect was awesome, and then Taker and Kane attacked them afterwards, teasing a tag team matchup possibly, or and maybe even a Taker versus. Excuse me. Shaw match, but I was into this match the most because of the story. I've I've always loved Taker. He's my favorite wrestler of all time. These four, I think, have the tag match. And then at WrestleMania, let's say Taker does take on Sean. They all need to retire. Reason I say that, Triple H can still go. So yeah, the once a year WrestleMania deal is cool. But he's so busy behind the scenes. And I respect all four of these men as people and as wrestlers. I am scared for their health because they haven't done it as often as some of the other guys. And I feel like they're they're more limited in what they can do. But it was still a very solid match. Um, Triple H gets the win. But I think there's more to come. So the reason I like this pay-per-view, it was wrestling. There wasn't much talking. The Iconics cut a very short promo. Daniel Bryan and The Miz had a good match. Um, there was really no promos. You didn't, you didn't see a 15, 10, 15 minute promo. They said what they had to say and they went into the ring. Um, you know, uh, Cena talked afterwards, but it wasn't a long talk. Elias and KO even had a short promo. Um, a good and solid card. One of the better pay-per-views. I'd say the best this year they've had, uh, except for maybe Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble was pretty good with the first one to Royal Rumble. But anyways... I, WWE, I think their best shows is when they let the wrestling tell the story. You don't always need 15, 20-minute promos. Just let them go out there and wrestle. That's what I want as a fan. Not every fan, but I want wrestling. I don't want 20-minute promos. I want two to five minutes of talk. Maybe occasionally a little bit longer when it's important, but with multiple people. But when it's one person talking, keep it short to the point. Short and sweet. Let, let wrestling happen. I was very entertained by this event, though, and if you have not watched it and you have the network, watch it. I think you will enjoy it. That's all I got today. Take care.